Hello everyone. Accurate, convenient, reliable and inexpensive multimeter. This is the kind of device I want to show you in this video. This is a VM600A multimeter from Venlab. This is a wonderful measuring device that will meet all expectations. The VM600A multimeter comes in such a nice looking box in dark colors. Let's see what's inside. The multimeter itself. Probes. Batteries. A nice bonus. A thermocouple for measuring temperature. Two 0.6 amp fuses. And the user manual. Let's look first of all at the parameters of this device. Frequency measurement is up to 10 MHz, with an error of 1.5%. Next, the temperature measurement, up to 1000 degrees Celsius. Next page, measurement of AC voltage up to 750 volts. The margin of error is 0.8%, but in the main range, up to 600 volts, the error is 1%. Important information is also listed here. This multimeter has a true RMS function, that is, it can measure voltage and current regardless of the form of the input signal and at high frequencies. It is indicated here that the frequency range in which this multimeter makes accurate and adequate measurements is from 10 Hz to 1 kHz. Outside of these values, measurements can be with a large error. Next is the measurement of a constant voltage up to 1000 volts. The margin of error is 0.8%. In the main range, the margin of error is 0.5%. The multimeter has standard functions of checking diodes with a voltage of 3 volts on the probes, as well as checking the electrical circuit and an audible signal. Next page, AC current measurement up to 20 amps, 2% error. In the main range, the margin of error is 1.5%. The first point is also interesting here. This multimeter can measure ultra-low currents, 600 microamps, that is 0.6 milliamps. DC current measurement is also up to 20 amps, the error is 2%, in the main range, the error is 4%. Resistance measurement is up to 60 megaohms, the error is 1.2%, in the main range, up to 6 megaohms. The error is 0.8%. And measuring the capacity of up to 100,000 microfarads or up to 100 millifarads. The margin of error in the main range is 4%. Well, this multimeter has excellent characteristics and it will be very comfortable to work with it. I'll put the fuses and batteries aside. Let's take a closer look at the thermocouple. The cord is quite long and very soft. Most likely, it is not silicone, but nevertheless the cord is soft and pleasant to the touch. The stings of these probes are very sharp. Their measurement limit is 1000 volts and 20 amperes. And here is the multimeter itself. It has a fairly large size, but it is not too heavy and fits comfortably in your hand. In the upper part of the multimeter there is a flashlight and an electric field sensor. There is a powerful magnet on the back side so that you can fix this device on any metal surface. There is also a stand and a mount for the probes. An electric field indicator is located above the screen. Then the function buttons. Disk switch of measurement modes. It works very smoothly and clearly. And connectors for connecting probes. This is a common one, then the main one and two connectors for measuring current strength. 
In one of the last videos I did a review on a very similar device. It was a VM600M multimeter. Outwardly they are very similar, but there are some differences. So, for example, this multimeter can measure the gain of transistors and record infrared radiation. But at the same time it is necessary to manually set the measurement range. And this multimeter is semi-automatic, that is, it is enough to set the desired measurement mode. And then the multimeter will do everything by itself. And now let's take a closer look at the capabilities of this multimeter, VM600A. First of all, I will install the batteries in this multimeter. To do this, you will need to unscrew the back cover. By the way, it is worth noting the powerful rubberized case of this multimeter, which reliably protects both the multimeter itself and the screen from damage. The multimeter turned on. Now I will connect the probes and check all the measurement modes of this device. So, the first measurement mode is low voltage, millivolts. For example, I found an almost completely discharged battery. Its voltage is 216 millivolts. In order to switch to the AC voltage measurement mode, you need to press this button function. The next mode is voltage measurements. The battery voltage is 1.34 volts. To measure the AC voltage, you need to press the function button. The voltage in the electrical network is 244 volts. Now I will supply voltage from the power supply, and let's see how the multimeter will change the measurement range when the voltage increases. Units. Now dozens. As you can see, the multimeter copes with its task perfectly. You can also switch the measurement range in manual mode using the range button. The next item combines three measurement modes, checking diodes, checking the electrical circuit and measuring resistance. First, I will measure the resistance. This is a 10 ohm resistor. The device shows exactly 10 ohms. Another resistance at 680 ohms. 679 ohms, that's right. Now the automatic mode is set, that is, the device itself determines the desired measurement range. Using the range button, you can manually change this range. Megems. Ohms. Kilooms. To return to automatic mode, you need to press and hold this button. Using the function button, you can select the following measurement mode. Check the electrical circuit and beep. It works great, there is practically no delay. Next. Check the diodes. Everything is fine, the diode is working. I want to see if this multimeter can check the LEDs, that is, if it can light them. Blue LED. As you can see, everything is fine. The multimeter shows a voltage drop of 2.5 volts on this LED. white lead and 2.6 volt voltage drop. The red lead has a smaller voltage drop. 1.77 volts. Perfectly. The multimeter copes well with checking the leads. The next mode is capacity measurement. 
a 10 nanofarad capacitor. That's right, 10 nanofarads. The device accurately determines this capacity without any delay. Another electrolytic capacitor for 2200 microfarads. To measure such a capacity, the multimeter took about 5 seconds. The result is 2200 microfarads. The next mode is frequency measurement. As an example, I measure the frequency of the electrical network. 50 Hz. Everything is fast and accurate. This mode works very well in the multimeter. The next three points are current measurement. Ultra low currents, that is, microamperes. Then milliamps. And amps. I will test one of the modes and check how much current this lead strip consumes. To measure the current strength, the red probe of the multimeter must be switched to the appropriate socket. The current is 650 milliamps. Great, there are no difficulties and delays in this measurement mode. The next measurement mode is the search for an electric field. This is an electric cord. Great. And the last mode is temperature measurement. Now I will install a thermocouple instead of probes. By the way, without a thermocouple, the device shows the temperature inside the case. There is also a temperature sensor installed there. But when a thermocouple is connected, the readings come from it. For example, I measure the temperature of the soldering iron tip. And this multimeter mode works without problems. Also, this multimeter can record the measurement value on the screen. For example, the voltage of this battery is 1.34 volts. To fix this value, you need to press and hold the hold button. The value remained on the screen. The next button allows you to measure the frequency in the voltage measurement mode. How does it work? Let's choose the measurement of alternating voltage. The mains voltage is 247 volts. Now, when the button is pressed, the multimeter immediately shows a frequency of 50 Hz, very convenient function. The fourth button turns on the backlight of the screen. By the way, the backlight is very bright, two LEDs. And with a long press, the flashlight turns on. So, to summarize, it is quite obvious that the VM600A multimeter is an accurate, reliable and inexpensive measuring device. It will be very useful in any workshop. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so as not to miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.